Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are doing an unboxing video. We have a package here from Cooler Master, as I'm going to be doing a new PC build, I think this month or the following month. But we have a bunch of stuff from there. Now I think what's in here is a liquid cooler, as well as... What else is in here? I think some fans? I believe that's what's in this package. Now it is a pretty big box, so... And it is uh, definitely quite heavy, so uh, maybe there's some more stuff in here. I don't remember what exactly they sent me. So I think we have a liquid cooler and some fans. Without further ado, I guess, uh, let's take a look at all this stuff they sent us and, uh, you know, unbox it, give my opinion about it. We're going to be using all these things in a future PC build very soon. New PC case is on the way as well, I think, from Cooler Master. Not going to tell you guys what the PC case is just yet. I'll be making a dedicated unboxing video when that PC case arrives, but it hasn't arrived just yet. So let's dig in with the old karambit knife over here. All right, let's make sure we... Uh... We use the karambit knife the correct way. This is how you hold it, right? Like this. Pretty sure this is how you hold it. So, let's cut all the packaging tape Cooler Master put on this thing. Now, this wasn't even delivered to my house. They dropped it off at a freaking shop. Uh, don't know why that is, as my address was on here. And I have no idea why UPS just left it in some random shop instead of delivering it to my address. Oh my good god! Oh, we have a power supply as well! Oh god, okay. That explains why it was definitely Heavier than expected, because <laughs> it's a goddamn 850 watt platinum power supply. Oh god damn. And, oh jeez. Alright, Cooler Master hooked us up. Oh my god. <laughs> jeez, man. Right. Master Fan MF120R ARGB. You know what ARGB is? Addressable RGB, guys. Oh damn. Asus Aura Sync RGB Fusion by Gigabyte. ASRock Polychrome Sync and then MSI Mystic Light Sync. All sorts of light syncing capabilities here. Oh man, all right. Hopefully they do perform well. They do look quite nice. Loads of RGB LEDs, I'm guessing, in the center there. Just illuminating everywhere. That This is gonna be dope as hell. And we do seem to get some kind of controller here as well. So perhaps we can sync up everything. So we have, a, I believe, a three pack here. Yeah, three in one. All right, dope. We have three pack here. Three more, so six fans. Dope. We got a freaking liquid cooler. Now this one. Looks pretty dope, eh? Look at all that. Master Liquid ML240R RGB Phantom Gaming Edition. Once again, addressable RGB. Very important. It includes RGB controller. Awesome, man. So Cooler Master Phantom Gaming. This does come with two fans as well. And then, of course, you can sync up all the lighting effects to, you know, all the other motherboard manufacturers and stuff. Damn, dude. This looks dope. Put this aside here. And then we have power supply as well. Right, 850 watt platinum. Good God. Oh, wow. All right. Fully modular. Oh, that is nice. All right, cool. So as this is a pretty high-end power supply, you know, the power supply is, of course, fully modular and you do get 100% Japanese capacitors in there as well. Uh, so thermal, thermal regulation mode. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so this power supply will probably be quite quiet, which is nice. You do get a switch for a single or multi-rail, which can be useful. Thicker cables and standard. Okay. Better efficiency, reducing ambient heat. All right, dope. Mm-hmm, I see what they've done here. Nice, guys. And then as for the fan curve, all the specs are listed there. Pretty straightforward stuff. So, oh. Let's take this stuff off, man. I want to take a look at this power supply in person. We can unbox it all, dude. I do like the packaging for the product. It's very simple, very nice. I'm a fan. Right, let's actually open it up. I always struggle with, like, opening boxes. Oh, no. It's real easy, it's real good. Right, you get a user guide, uh, all the information about, you get some safety instructions, how to install the power supply, etc. And you do also get a, a pin layout, uh, which can be useful for, you know, all the individual pins and stuff. So you got your 24 pin, you got your 4 pin, you got your floppy drive connector, for all you people that still use floppy drives. But apart from that, what else we got here? Very well packaged power supply. Oh, all right. I do like when power supply companies do this nowadays. It's just real nice. All the cables come in a lovely bag. This one says Cooler Master. Very nice. Just Velcro strap. And you got all your cables in there. You can barely see them. So uh, let me take them out. Oh, they do give you some fancy Cooler Master Velcro cable ties as well. That's always good to see. Now, as for the cables, they look great. They're black, flat sleeved cables. And then as for the PCIe cables, as I mentioned earlier, these are 16 AWG instead of 18 AWG, I think. And uh, that means they're thicker cables, they're more efficient, and uh, there will be less ambient heat. Anything else? Oh, they do also give you some plastic velcro, some plastic velcro cable ties. That would be interesting. Some plastic cable ties. These aren't velcro. These are though, so you get some options. That's dope. You get all your screws to, you know, put the power supply inside of a case. And then you do also get a power connector. So your three pin power. Awesome. So they give you literally everything you need. And of course, Molex to 
I believe it is a floppy drive connector. You never know when you're gonna need to use a floppy drive. I can't remember the last time I actually used a floppy drive. It was probably like over a decade ago, back when, you know, floppy drives were a thing and you'd store all your data on a freaking floppy drive. But uh, yeah, haven't used one of those in a long time. As for the actual power supply itself, once again, very well packaged. You got a lovely Cooler Master thing there. It's like super fancy unboxing experience. Very well packaged. You know, this is not gonna arrive freaking damaged. You get some lovely foam in here as well. Ooh, I do like the fan in there. Pretty cool. Very stealthy design in my opinion. Uh, Cooler Master V850, just super sleek, not too much going on here. No crazy like RGB wave effect or anything, so uh, if you're not into RGB, this is gonna be a lovely power supply for you. 850 watt, 80 plus platinum rating there. And then as for all the connectors on the back here, we got them all here. So uh, you get all your SATA ports there. Well, that is interesting the way that's laid out, cool. Uh, you get single multi-rail, so you can switch between those if you want to. Then you got your CPU, EPS, ATX connectors there, the PCIe ports, motherboard 24 pin, all that good stuff. All right, awesome. Let's put this power supply to the side for now. I wanna unbox these fans here. All right. So next up, we got some fans. ARGB master fan, MF120R ARGB. Lovely stuff. Now I think we have to do some, some cutting. Boom. And then make sure you, you cut away for, your, for yourself. You cut away. Make sure you cut away from yourself, not for yourself. Bloody hell, man. Give me the fans. Gotten into the package. All right, once again, pretty dope experience unboxing everything. Cooler Master, make it yours. Ooh, what do we have in here? Wide addressable RGB LED controller. All right. Let's see how this is all gonna be connected up and powered. All right, so we got the, oh, God damn it. I don't know what that is, it's tiny. Uh, okay, is this, is this kind of adapter? Or it's, oh, Jesus, no, Wait, what? Oh, it fell through the chair, okay. Right, so you get a bunch of screws for the fans. Okay, right, so we got a four pin here. This is gonna go into here. This is gonna get SATA power, giving the whole device power. I believe this is some kind of IR receiver. I may be completely wrong, but uh, this little piece, oh God damn, th this little guy is gonna go into here. I'm gonna plug it into this, there we go. Then this is gonna go onto your motherboard. Uh, so that's very, very simple. ASRock, ASUS, MSI, yeah, so this will help you sync up everything. Okay, Gigabyte got their own one apparently. Okay, and then this five pin port is gonna go into here. And we got this device as well. Let's take out all these fans, all right? I'm not gonna unbox the other one, just one of these, because it is literally the exact same package. We can take a look at one of the fans, I guess. Right, looks good. You get two cables per fan. Ooh, all right, I like the cables. They're like sleeved in this like braided type cable thing. I like them, they're cool. Right, so I see how this is gonna work. Super simple, so you can uh, align these two arrows just like that. So, you know, plug them in, make sure these arrows are pointing at each other. Very importante. Then it's gonna go into your motherboard, you know, plug that in, boom. So you can control the actual fan RPM. And then using this guy, you can control all the lighting effects, all that good stuff. And of course, there are two more connectors here for obviously the other two fans. We have made a mistake. This is not going to go into your motherboard, this is going to go into this guy. So you can control all three fans, all three fans at once. Although you can just plug in, you know, a single one into your motherboard if you only want one fan. But obviously if you're buying a three pack of fans here, you can just plug all of them into one uh, fan header on your motherboard. So you basically just get like a three-way splitter for your fans, uh, which is good. So you can control the fan speed and, you know, the RGB effects of all of them all at once, which is just, it saves you time, makes your life easy, so that's good, and saves you some fan headers, which is always good, as uh, not all motherboards have enough fan headers. Now, uh, oh, this does actually show you how to set it all up, how to connect it all together. Let's check if we've messed up. Right, so we got four pin ASUS, I'm familiar with that, as I have messed around with ASUS Aura Sync before. You get three pin for gigabyte. Once you're done with all of this, you're gonna go to uh, the coolermaster.com, unzip, double click file, and install, right. There is a QR code right there. Move closer. So yeah, so this takes you pretty much directly to Cooler Master's website. You can download their software on their website, of course. And then, and then, and then, and then you can, and then you can go ahead and download their software on their website, of course. So that's dope. Right, so uh, this is the little RGB controller that we do get. Compact size addressable RGB controller that allows you to customize. Right, so this is the little RGB controller that we get. RGB in the palm of your hand. Wired addressable RGB controller. Without the need for either an RGB cable motherboard or software, you can have the colorful rig you've always wanted with just the touch of a button. Okay. So in case your motherboard does not support Asus Aura Sync, MSI, Mystic Lite, or any of the other like RGB syncing software, uh, this will pretty much allow you to do 
all the same stuff, I suppose, but via a controller instead of through software. So this little controller will allow you to adjust lighting speed, uh, the lighting mode, as well as a thermal detection mode. Right, uh, turns out I'm an idiot. This is not an IR sensor, this is not a radio receiver. This is a thermal sensor. And where you're gonna use this, I just read up about it here. Uh, you're gonna put this, for example, near your CPU. So when your CPU, you know, becomes hot whilst you're rendering a video or doing whatever to, you know, make your CPU run a bit warm, this will see, you know, the fact that, hey, you know, things are really heating up around it and uh, your fans can either turn red or blue depending on the temperature of where you put this little, you know, thermal sensor at, which is dope. I really like that. That's cool. So it doesn't need software or anything to function. You could put this guy literally anywhere and depending on the temperature, it'll adjust the uh, fan color, you know, from blue to red. I've never seen fans come with like a thermal sensor before. So uh, usually I'm used to seeing like, you know, an IR receiver and then a little remote. But no, you get a freaking thermal sensor with this fan pack. I did not think I'd see that. All right, so taking a look at all these products here, let's take a look at this guy now. The Master Liquid ML240R RGB. Now uh, this RGB liquid cooler, I believe has uh, quite a bit more RGB than my current one from NZXT. Very nice. All right, let's open you up once I figure out how to do so. Always a struggle. Oh, it's like this. All right, dude. Let's take a look inside. We get two fans. Phantom Gaming. Awesome. Yes, ARGB as well, I believe. You can sync these guys up, I hope. Awesome stuff. Right, so this liquid cooler does come in a few forms. You got your 120 millimeter, you got your 240, and you got a 360 version. Now, well, we're not going to be putting this guy. Ooh, damn. The tubing here, the sleeve for the tubing is absolutely beautiful. I am a fan of that. You get a pretty nice radiator as well. Decently thick. Love the tubing here, like genuinely. It feels amazing. It looks really good, like super thick. Looks awesome. And uh, it is quite flexible as well. So uh, that is another plus. Damn, dude, this is gonna be absolutely sick. As for all the other things you get, you get a bunch of cables. All right. Oh, oh, this is magnetic. Oh, is this the little controller? All right, let's take a look at this controller. A motherboard at five volt, okay. Then we have four connections there. SATA power, of course, to give this whole thing power. And uh, this is magnetic. So you can just like slap this inside of your case somewhere, uh, you know, onto like a, a metal side panel and it'll just stay there, which is always good. We have a thermal sensor connector there. Uh, MB reset, case reset, R1. So as for package contents for all these uh, all-in-one liquid coolers, you get two fans, for the 120 as well as 240 millimeter radiators. And then of course for the 360 millimeter one, you get free fans. You get some thermal paste, all the screws and fans you need. You get a splitter there for all the fans as well, which is good. So uh, Intel and AMD. So I believe this is compatible with AM4. You get your thermal paste. That, that looks like a lot of thermal paste there. <laughs> Make sure you remove the label, of course. So it supports AM4, AM3+, AM3, and pretty much everything. And then they also show you how to connect everything up together. A lot of cables, a lot of cables. <laughs> Damn, dude, this PC build, I'm pretty excited for. Also, the fan, the fan, the knife color matches the Cooler Master colors very well, right? The, the purple here, <laughs> pretty dope. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you wanna go check out any of these products here from Cooler Master, links are down below in the description, of course. Can't wait for the PC build, this is gonna be dope. Loads of RGB, of course, and they also sent us a lovely power supply, and that comes with a freaking 10 year warranty. Good stuff here, man. So massive shout out to Cooler Master. Thank you guys so much for sending all this stuff over. I appreciate it. And uh, there'll be a video coming soon where I unbox a Cooler Master PC case and then we can begin the build. It's gonna be a good time. But until then, thanks for watching. Links in the description down below to all this stuff here as well as everything else in my setup, of course. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.